In this video, I'm going to show you everything we know about the next major Minecraft update, which is the Minecraft 1.20 Trails and Tales update. These are the things you must know about this update. Let's begin with bamboo blocks. In this update, Mojang added bamboo woods, which are the full set of woods including doors, stairs, trap doors, and planks. They also added bamboo mosaic, a new decorative block type just for bamboo. Lastly, the bamboo version of the boat, which is a raft. Moving on to the suspicious blocks. You will be able to find a new type of sand called, suspicious sand, near desert temples. You can then work up the new brush tool to whisk away all the suspicious sand in an attempt to unearth everything from pottery shards, hidden tools, and bones, to sniffer eggs, which are the most adorable consolation prize imaginable. Next is a chiseled bookshelf, which is a functional bookshelf that you can place up to six books on. You can put any kind of book from normal books, books and quills, and enchanted books. In the Tales and Trails update, Mojang added a new biome which is Cherry Blossom. Of course, since it has a new biome, we also have new Cherry Blossom blocks, another full set of blocks from doors, stairs, planks, trap doors, and more. We have two new mobs, Sniffer and Camel. The Sniffer is an extinct overworld mob that you'll have to resurrect by finding their eggs via archaeology. Once hatched, Sniffers will use their big yellow snouts to dig ancient seeds out of the ground for you to plant. Next is Camel. Camels will be found hanging out in desert villages. They are a new type of mount, they seat two players. That means you can bring a friend along for a trek between bases without needing two different mounts. Camels also have a special horizontal dash ability for crossing ravines. Lastly is armor customization. Minecraft introduced armor trims, and colorful customization for all your armor pieces. You can find smithing templates out in the world and then bring them back to a smithing table to modify your armor. You can use loppies, diamonds, iron ingots, gold ingots, red stone, and many more for different colors. That's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. To those who are wondering, I'm using Minecraft latest Bedrock Edition here on my mobile device. These new features are only available if you turned on experiments before making Creative World. Have a nice day everyone, peace out.